It is a pleasure to welcome you to the Rethink Protein Challenge 2. And we're gonna have a great day today. We're gonna show you videos. We're gonna talk to experts. And we also have an expert in the studio. But we're gonna start with a presentation of last edition's winner, Edgar. Hello, I'm Edgar. Very happy to be here with you. So I am uh, originally from Colombia and I uh, finalized a PhD uh, here in Wageningen in the area of bioprocess engineering. And actually for a few years, I've been working actively in the area of uh, biorefineries and valorization of waste streams. And in 2019, I was the co-founder of Fumi Ingredients. So in Fumi Ingredients, we are developing the next generation platform for the transformation of microbial biomass into functional ingredients. But it's, uh, what is uh, really Fumi Ingredients about? So we start with microbial biomass, we apply it our process, and we produce a range of ingredients with functional activity, specifically in the upper section of this uh, uh, value pyramid that you see. So we are specifically targeting uh, the food uh, segment, but of course other areas are uh, also into consideration. Of course, these ingredients are animal free, but also we are not talking about the typical plant-based ingredient. It's not an ingredient that we derive from, from crops or similar. It's not an ingredient that is produced under genetically modified uh, processes or organisms. And it's not the usual uh, microbial extract or protein isolate or single cell protein or whole biomass. It's something really unique. So we worked already since uh, 2019 on the technology, but also on the applications. And now we are at the stage in which we have proven the technology at one tone scale. We have demonstrated the applications and the functionality for a various uh, products in the food segment, specifically bakery and meat analogs, but also others. And we are currently working actively into further scale up and further applications. But of course, this is not a work that we are only doing together since 2019 uh, that we started uh, this journey with Fumi Ingredients. Now we are a, a team of five people, including uh, food scientists, biotechnology, process engineer, and of, and of course our roles are CTO and uh, CEO. But how it all started? So it all started from my PhD here at Wageningen from 2015 to 2019. I was working in the area of uh, microalgae biorefineries. And just by the end of my PhD, I uh, heard about the, the Rethink Protein Challenge. And myself, along with my supervisor, we were working on innovative ideas to use what we have learned during my PhD to apply it in a, in a possible business opportunity. So I decided to bring some of the ideas I learned during my PhD and some other ideas I had in mind within something called ALFI. ALFI was the idea that I presented in the Protein Challenge. And ALGI stands for Algae-Based uh, Ingredients for Food Applications. So we participated in the challenge, but also at the same time and after finalizing my PhD, I joined the Accelerate program of Star Life. So we were working on, on how to become an entrepreneur, to learn about the finances, to learn about the market, to learn about investments. So we did, or I did this work in parallel, joining the Protein Challenge, but as well working and uh, learning a lot from the Accelerate program of Star Life. Finally, in August 2019, we established Fumi Ingredients. And Fumi Ingredients was alfi, but now expanded, not only to include uh, algae uh, as ingredient, but also other sorts of microbial biomass, like yeast, fungi, and, uh, and bacteria. But my experience during the Rethink Protein Challenge and with ALFI was uh, remarkable. And I would like to share a couple of learnings uh, that I had from that experience. The first one was the amazing ideas that the students can bring uh, to the contest. It's, it's really interesting to see all the creativity that all the students bring. The second one was all the energy and enthusiasm that you see from all the students. And of course, this perseverance to make things right, to learn, to really improve uh, their ideas. The third one is the eagerness to make an impact. Everyone, everybody really wants to have an impact. Everybody wants to really solve uh, the protein challenge. Everybody wants to contribute decisively to the sustainability um, element. But finally, um, 
I also had a lot of fun. That perhaps was the most important. With the fellow students also to, to share different experiences, not only thinking about the protein challenge, but everybody's story and everybody's uh, life. That was uh, quite important. So I would invite everybody to participate, to bring your own ideas. And one piece of advice perhaps is, do not miss the chance to be creative, and to have some fun, to learn. And don't be afraid to make mistakes because you will learn anyways. Thank you very much. And of course, if you want to reach me, my contact details would be happy to uh, get in touch. That was a great presentation, Edgar, and thank you for your inspiration. I still have some questions for you because we want to know how are you doing with your startup? Thanks a lot, uh, Sabine. So right now it's uh, almost two years since, uh, since I started from the very first uh, concept. And now we are in the process of scaling up. So back then we were trying to produce a couple of grams of the product. Now we are in the phase where we can make uh, around 10 kilos, 20 kilos. And we would like to continue scaling up in the next uh, months and years. Because of uh, legislation and because of the scale up and because this is a new ingredient, we expect that we can be in the market in about two years time. And how is the market for this kind of product at the moment? Uh, to be honest with you, it's uh, actually a tsunami of uh, interest. Uh, the whole uh, alternative protein uh, environment is really, really uh, densely populated by companies trying to replace their traditional food products. We see interest from, from meat companies, but also from bakery companies, confectionery products, beverage, dairy, you name it. So the interest is great and uh, pretty much all the companies really want to get into the wave of uh, alternative proteins. Edgar, please tell me, what does it take to make an entrepreneur from a researcher? And was it a tough journey for you? It was, uh, it was not very difficult uh, in the sense that, that, let's say, I just gave it a go. I uh, wanted to, uh, to see if I, was, if I managed to take my idea from research into, into practice. But it takes a lot of uh, patience and uh, resilience. You, uh, you see that many times you will fail. You just have to uh, wake up the next morning and try it again. You will see that it's not uh, very easy to convince people, so you have to keep on trying. You will see that you have to iterate many times. And um, if, you, if you are patient enough and you have enough commitment, uh, you will get there. Okay, and my last question. What do you think that will be the biggest opportunity or challenge to the protein transition? So the biggest challenge right now is uh, in um, what is called uh, cultivated meat. So meat that is uh, grown in the lab. And this is because of uh, scale up and cost reasons. So I think there, there is a great uh, challenges that need to be solved. And on the other side, um, proteins that are produced by means of uh, genetic modification, so fermentation technology. Uh, I think it's still um, an expensive technology, although the technology is uh, it's really good. Uh, I think the two spaces there. Uh, insects are also uh, coming up quite, quite rapidly and uh, the great scale up in cost, but maybe consumer acceptance could be, could be a challenge. So let's say every group of proteins have uh, their own challenges, but they are working actively to, to solve it. Okay, Edgar, thank you very much for your time and I wish you all the best and good luck with your project. Right, thanks a lot, uh, Sabine, for, and for the questions and I hope uh, you, everybody has a, a great time uh, today. So what we're gonna do now is show you a video in which Marta and Rio from WUR will explain all the details about this challenge. So pay good attention because you need to see all of this. Welcome to the kickoff of the second edition of our Rethink Protein Challenge. I'm happy you're all here and uh, interested in, uh, in joining this, uh, this competition. Uh, my name is Rio and uh, me and my colleague Marta are organizing uh, this particular challenge and we'll tell you a little bit more what's ahead of you. First of all, what is your assignment? Um, we challenge you to come up with a solution, a business plan, an innovation, a prototype uh, to provide sustainable, healthy and affordable protein for a growing world population. That's a very wide open assignment and uh, coming up with the ideas and innovations for that is 
up to you. So we challenge you to come up with, uh, well, with something new, and I will tell you a little bit more about what we expect from your solution. So what you have to keep in mind, the most important aspects of this uh, challenge, you have to come up with a solution, a prototype, a business idea for a specific market. So not a general idea that maybe be implemented worldwide. No, focus on a specific area, region, a specific market, a specific target group. The second thing to take into account is the sustainability of your solution. So what you need to do is uh, to compare the sustainability of your solution uh, with that of alternative solutions for the same issue or problem or market that you try to tackle. So make sure you check out that market and compare your solution to that of others. And well, maybe needless to say, but it also needs to be unique. Make sure you come up with something that's new and innovative. Uh, the more unique and innovative, the bigger chance that you'll make it to the finals. Thank you, Rio. I am Marta, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the challenge timeline. So this challenge has three rounds, and each of them ends at, uh, with the selection round. The first round uh, starts right now, and you have one and a half month to uh, develop your idea. At the end of this round, we ask you to deliver a milestone report, and after, based on this report, we'll select uh, top 30 theme teams that will go to the second round. In the second round, the real fun starts. We then provide you a communication, a business model, and pitch training. You also get to know our coaches. And this round ends with the big second milestone report where you present uh, your whole idea. The 12 best teams get to the finals. And on 26th of June, we'll hear your pitches and select the winners of the challenge. So here you can see the overview of what are you working towards. You can find more information in our handbook with all the requirements. So this is the challenge handbook, your reference book for the entire duration of the challenge. Check it anytime, anytime you have questions about challenge because we have put all the information here. You can find there the templates for the milestone reports, information about property rights, uh, explanation about selection process, and so on. It's uh, on the online platform, anytime available to your disposal. The online platform is your gate to the challenge. This is where you interact with the coaches, upload your uh, reports, but you can also find here different documents. So now I'm going to show you the most important part of the platform, which is the competition part. As you can see here, uh, this is where you provide the information about the members of your team, provide the information about your team, upload different videos re related to your project, and also upload your reports and get, to get in touch with the coaches. For now, you really need to focus on this specific part of the platform. So before 17th of January, we ask you to fill in all the information about your team. So upload your logo, team photo, the names of the team members, as well as information about your first idea. Throughout the challenge, you can add or remove team members, but for the moment, we really ask you to already team up. An important part of this challenge is coaching. We have gathered a number of uh, excellent experts in the field of protein uh, to your disposal who want to coach you. Uh, you can contact them via chat function and also there are specific moments where you interact with them in a speed date setting. So my advice for the entire challenge is make use of this opportunity to get in touch with those amazing experts. Don't be shy ask questions and network as much as possible. Throughout the challenge, we are also going to provide a number of trainings and webinars. I have already mentioned some of them. So what is ahead of you is communication training, uh, business model canvas training, and pitch training. Those trainings are not obligatory, but you, we really recommend you to attend them.
It's a, it will really enhance your learning experience. Further, monthly we are organizing webinars where you can get to know different aspects rela uh, related to protein transition. Okay, so that's it from us. We wish you a great learning experience in the second edition of the Rethink Protein Challenge. Everybody, good luck, and we are looking for... Marta and Rio, thank you very much for your presentation. And uh, we've received a lot of questions from participants. I would like to ask you them. Uh, Rio, can I ask you the first question? Uh, are there any restrictions regarding to uh, the team composition? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, there's not many restrictions uh, to the teams that can participate. You have to be a minimum of two, but there's no maximum. Um, you can have bachelor, master and PhD students in your team, but the number of PhD students is limited to a maximum of 50%. Marta, second question. What is the role of the partners in the challenge? Uh, yes, partners play a very important role in our challenge. Uh, the representatives of the partners are, are the coaches, so the people who are the source of inspiration and knowledge for you. Uh, via the platform you can get in contact with them, ask them different questions and expect uh, answers. We also have some uh, speed dating moments, that's when you will have more one-to-one -one contact with them and you can ask them as many questions as possible. So my advice is Go through the list of our partners, make connections and make use of it. It's also perhaps a possibility for you to make your next career step. Can I approach other experts for help? Yes, definitely. You are very welcome to approach uh, experts and coaches from outside our network. What we offered is just a start point and your uh, entrepreneurship and uh, active spirit is uh, where it will take you. So go ahead. Rio. What does the selection process look like? Um, the selection process uh, consists of different stages. For the first selection moment, uh, you will have to submit a report uh, by the end of uh, February. And the second uh, selection moment will be at the end of May. You can find uh, the exact date and all the details in the handbook. So make sure that you have a good look at that. Um, the Things that you will have to submit, the report that you have to submit on those moments will be assessed by our selection committee. And the selection committee is uh, made up of partners, so experts uh, about uh, the protein transition. Then at the end of uh, the challenge, uh, during uh, the fin finale on 25th of June, uh, you will meet the jury. Uh, the jury is also made up of uh, people from our partner network. And you will then have to uh, also pitch uh, for the jury. You will have to uh, answer some questions uh, that they will ask you. And the jury will also have a look at your, uh, your second uh, submission. Um, the points that you can get for your report is uh, 40, uh, for your pitch is 5. And the way you answer the questions of the jury is also 5. So a total of 50. But then again, uh, Check out the handbook because you will find all the details there. I've got also a question about the IP rights. Which one of you would like to yeah. read as well? Yeah. yeah. How are the RP, uh, IP rights organized? Well, first of all, uh, I would like to highlight that, uh, that we've developed this challenge as an exciting uh, learning experience. Uh, so uh, most of all, you will learn an amazing amount about proteins, about the protein transition, about what it takes uh, to develop a new product or a new technology, for example, and also a lot about yourself. So um, nearly everything you do, you post, you share with us, um, you upload on our platform will be public. Um, nevertheless, the, the IP rights uh, are yours. So if, um, and I think that will be an exceptional case, if a team decides that it might have a chance to patent their innovation, then make sure uh, that you get some advice. Also, keep in mind that almost everything you send to us is public. Uh, there's a small exception, and that is the second milestone report that you submit uh, by the end of May. 
Um, also, the coaches that will see uh, those uh, those reports, they will have to sign a, a confidentiality agreement. So that part will be kept uh, confidential. Um, but if you decide to go for a, a patent or apply for a patent, make sure that you don't send out post uh, or upload any information that is not supposed to be public. Um, let me check if I forgot anything. Yeah, maybe good to know that um, uh, it's not easy to, to get a patent or to bring an innovation to market. So uh, before you start, make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into and most of all, enjoy the learning uh, that you do through this uh, challenge. That's clear. And we selected the last question. Are the challenges deadlines hard? We have organized this challenge in a very flexible way. There are many optional program parts, such as trainings and webinars. You can decide whether you want or don't want to participate. But the deadlines and the templates of the, uh, of the submissions are hard, which means that we really disqualify the teams that submit their uh, entries too late or in, in wrong format. So to prevent any disappointment, we want to say it now, just make sure that you know them by heart and that you have checked the, the requirements in the handbook and follow it. Thank you, Marta. That was very loud and clear. You just told us how important the partners are. And I want to show you a video in which a lot of our partners will introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Liz Kame from Fuji Europe Africa. We're part of the Fuji Oil Group. Fuji Oil is an ingredient manufacturer with strengths in plant protein, particularly soy protein, and vegetable fats. And we combine these to produce plant-based food solutions to solve society's challenges. Why are we interested in Rethink Protein, the student challenge? Well, we think it's a good fit with our philosophy of working for people and solving the, uh, the challenges of society. And what do we expect from it? Well, we joined last time and we were really impressed by the enthusiasm and inspira inspiration of the students. And that's what we hope this time, that you will continue to be enthusiastic, come up with great ideas. After all, you're going to be the game changers, the people who change the food system in our future world. Thank you. Hello, my name is André Potts. I look after food, product and process, science and technology. Unilever is on a mission to achieve 1 billion turnover on plant-based products in the next five to seven years. The challenge to achieve that is huge. We need plant-based meat, that is as tasty, juicy and nutritious as conventional meat. From the Retail Rethink Protein Challenge, we're looking for innovative ideas. Ideas that help us to find new protein sources, plants, but maybe also algae or yeast, but also new processing so uh, technologies that help us to get better products. All in all, we need your help. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Yvette Muskens from Delco Food and I'm a technical sales manager. Dalco Food is a specialist in the production and co-creation of vegetarian and vegan products. From meal components, ingredients, up to finger food. Dalco started as a meat company 45 years ago and we have been rethinking protein ever since. Today we are meat free. And Dalco is always curious to look into new proteins, likes to get inspired and to assist students all over the world. From this challenge, we are looking for inspiration and new perspectives on the use of proteins and to explore these routes together with the students. We are looking forward to joining you in the Rethink Protein Challenge. Good luck, everybody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sergei Smita and I'm from DIL, German Institute of Food Technologies, where we do a lot of research on new food systems, on alternative uh, foods, alternative protein sources. And that's why for us, it's very important to to get involved in Wagen and Gen Protein Challenge. And um, that's why we hope to get inspired by your ideas from one side. On another side, we hope to inspire you and support those young, brilliant minds which will appear there. So we wish you good luck and hope to see nice ideas. Hello, my name is Jetsen Kempenaar and I'm CEO of Farmal Dairy Products in the Netherlands. 
We trade dairy all over the world. Our slogan is, we're moved by milk. We're moving milk, but the world around us is also always moving. This is particularly the case when we talk about protein. There's a lot going on about production, and things about protein. That's why we want to join this challenge. We want to have new insights, inspirations and ideas from the students. And in reverse, we will share our knowledge. So I'm looking forward to the protein challenge. Thank you. My name is Joost Vliegen, Managing Director of GEA in the Netherlands. As a worldwide operating technology company, GEA contributes every day to sustainable food production with different processing technologies for our food producing customers. GEA is an innovative company where we always look for new creative ideas to improve our products. This is what we call engineering for a better world, our mission. Engagement of young, talented people like you is crucial then. This is also why I am so delighted to participate in this Rethink Protein Challenge. You can make use of my 24 years of experience in the food industry and GEAS technology centers. Please do so. Hello participants of the Wageningen University Student Challenge 2021. On behalf of the Wageningen Ambassadors, I'd like to share this short video with you. The challenges offer a unique opportunity to contribute to the position of Wageningen University on strategic themes and meet the most creative and entrepreneurial students. Wageningen Ambassadors will play a crucial role in empowering and coaching top talent. The goals of the student challenges, educating top talent and enhancing entrepreneurial skills are closely aligned with the interest, expertise and roles of the Wageningen Ambassadors. My name is Henk Wiemega and I will participate as a coach in the next challenges for 2021 together with some of the other ambassadors. I look very much forward in seeing you. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Jasper Koymans and I'm looking forward to work with you on redefining the way we eat our proteins. We are depleting the planet of natural resources and polluting our environment in such a rapid pace with the production of animal protein that something needs to be done. I have a lot of experience as a business leader at companies uh, such as Douwe Egberts, Kraft Heinz, Arla, Syngenta and Brandt and Levy that I can really help you make strong and solid business cases to get that economic skill that we need to make to have an economic impact. So I wish you a lot of success and a lot of ingenuity. My name is Nietzsche Schouten. Our family business, uh, Schouten Europe, was in 1990 the first Dutch company to start with plant-based protein uh, products, so meat substitutes. Nowadays, 30 years later, uh, we supply our products to more than 50 countries worldwide. And uh, innovation is still at the core of our company and very important for us. Uh, we are very happy and excited to be uh, part of the uh, Rethink Protein Challenge. Uh, we are really looking forward to uh, hear about uh, the innovative uh, ideas that you will, uh, will bring. And uh, we are really excited to work together and to see okay, how can we uh, translate these uh, ideas into uh, good concepts and also bring this uh, to the market. Hello, my name is Fuzien Verloop and I'm director of the University Fund Wageningen. At the University Fund, our mission is to contribute to the prosperity of Wageningen University with the help and contributions from our alumni and friends. We're very happy to contribute to the Student Challenge again this year for the third time because we're convinced that this is a unique opportunity for students to learn new skills and to bring their knowledge into practice. Also, we know that our donors like to, con to support a new generation of students to make the most of their time at Wuer. And the student challenge perfectly fits the bill. Good luck to all the participants from UFA. Hi, I'm Liz Becht, Director of Science and Technology at the Good Food Institute. We're an international nonprofit working with scientists, businesses, and policymakers to build a healthier, more sustainable food system by transforming meat production. It's always inspiring to work with students in this space to hear their fresh ideas about addressing these long-standing challenges. We're so excited to be involved with Rethink Protein. 
The science here is clear. We can't tackle the climate emergency or feed the world's growing population without changing the way we produce meat, eggs, dairy, and seafood. We can't wait to hear your ideas for building a sustainable food future, and we're looking forward to working with you to make them a reality. Hi there. My name is Peter Rosink. I'm a food technologist and management trainee at the Innovation Department of Royal Cosen. Uh, Royal Cosen is a cooperative of uh, Dutch sugar beet farmers, uh, owning several agri-food businesses. You might be familiar with our companies like Avago, the Cosen Beet Company, Census, SVZ or Dining Group. Uh, since they're all involved in businesses worldwide. Um, at COSEN we believe that the plan is our hero and we work towards a plan-based future that is 100% transparent, circular and plan-based. Doing so we want to become a significant player in the, plan play, in the plant-based protein transition. Um, during this Rethink Protein Challenge, uh, your ideas combined with our experience and facilities uh, should be the birthplace of uh, good new innovations. So we're looking very much forward to that. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sanne van Pelt, Manager Process Technology at the Bioprocess Pilot Facility. The Bioprocess Pilot Facility, BPF in short, is a multi-purpose pilot facility which together with Planet Bio is part of the Biotech Campus Delft in Delft. Our pilot houses extensive equipment for biomass pretreatment, hydrolysis, downstream processing and also has a dedicated food grade plant. The BPF motto is, we know how to make your process work at scale. We at the BPF think that rethinking our protein is one of the big pillars supporting a sustainable future for our planet and are very happy to contribute to making this transition happen. We wish for all the participants to have a challenge full of creativity and excitement and who knows, we might be able to welcome you to our food grade pilot facility in the future. Good luck! Five, four, three, two, one. So, good luck everyone with this challenge.